Welcome to another Transformers Prime review. This time we're looking at the Voyager class Robots in Disguise Power Razor Optimus Prime figure. Now I said before in previous videos and on Primecast that I really was having a hard time trying to convince myself to get this figure. And I was almost going to get the uh, Japanese Arms Micron version because I still don't not too lot about this weapon and with the Japanese version you'd get the Micron that turned into a much better looking gun but I wasn't decided I wasn't too keen on the idea of getting a figure that was approximately forty dollars more than the version that I in a, in a long run I had a hard time hard time convincing myself to pay more for a figure I barely even sort of wanted so I just ended up getting this the American version um so yeah, just gonna see how well this goes. Uh, packaging is fairly nice. It has the truck mode, Optimus Prime on the bottom, bio on the side, crappy looking photo shoot pictures on the back. Really cool picture on the other side. So yep. So let's uh, crack this guy open and see if I'll hate him as much as I think I will. Now, when this figure was initially released, a lot of people uh, really liked his truck mode because they uh, thought the windshield looked better and just overall believe that it looked better in truck mode, while I, before having it, thought it looked really stupid, um, looked very cutesy, like kind of a super deformed looking truck like it did not feel as intimidating as it should be and now having that I've owned it guess what my opinion hasn't changed I think this is a horrible looking truck with a stupid stupid storage for the weapons and uh, this truck mode just does not work for me yes the, the windshield is a little bit wider that's what makes it look smaller and the fact that it's very short and chubby looking does not really help its case yeah the smokestacks are a little bit stiffer but that's not really saying much and overall it just feels like it just doesn't feel very intimidating the end of I don't understand why this part right here is painted gray or not painted at all it should be red it doesn't have any of the blue that extends into the cab even this looks really kind of cheap um, plus, not a whole lot of people mention this, but I find it hilarious that to accommodate the robot mode, and vehicle mode actually has two sun visors, one on here, and two on the side. So, because in robot mode, this is supposed to split in half and go to the side. So in truck mode, he has two sun visors, one transformed, one not. Um... All about logo on the front, painted headlights. Yeah, painted headlights, I guess, is a plus. Not really much of one. Now, let's bring out a first edition Optimus Prime figure. And a lot of people seem to think that this looks bad on it, how small the windshield is. And while wow, this one looks better, but this I think the small kind of windshield gives it more of appearance of being a really massive semi truck while this makes it I mean overall it is smaller this one is smaller but especially the large windshield it makes it feel even smaller and look at them side by side well, can't really see but they're about nose to nose you can see that the blue part on the first edition extends pretty far uh, beyond the uh, the uh, new one and that gives a longer appearance which just makes it look like a more intimidating intimidating uh, big rig so um, yeah overall I still don't like this truck mode I mean um, I can't th even really think of one thing I do like it over the first edition one. It's really hard to think of th things I like about it. Um, 
I really don't don't know. I do kind of like that it has uh, side view mirrors, but that's not really a big deal to me. So yeah, but apparently that's a big deal to some some people. Yeah, um, yeah. It, as far as vehicle mode is concerned, first edition still uh, is the better of the two. So this is a completely new figure. And with that comes a completely different and very unique transformation. And with adding a little aspect that some people really seem to like. So let's go ahead and check that out. To start the transformation, first thing I'm going to do is just kind of grab the wings here. Inside, well not really the wings, just the smokestacks and panels that they're attached to and fold them out. Separate the rear of the vehicle. Kind of bring these down, and this is actually kind of. I got me. I didn't wasn't really expecting how the shins kind of tucked in underneath of everything. Fold out the feet, which the trailer hitch is molded into, and bring down the shin pieces, which a uh, uh, secure just about as tightly as or as tight as the uh, first edition one. Does uh, then I'm going to bring down the roof of the vehicle. Look around from this front. Separate the. This is one part of the vehicle that I find it, that I didn't really cover. That is super super short and squatty. The actual nose of the truck, which also gives it a very short, small feeling overall. I'm trying to separate nose here. There we go, there we go, oh, there we go. And then you just get this mangled mess. Um, yeah. Uh, but kind of already did it, but these, the headlights here fold down like that. I guess I might as well fold the grill back to reveal the head. This is, th alright, this part is pretty neat how they accomplished it because. All right, this is the front of you. This is the top. I'm going to turn it around, and now that becomes the bottom. Go fold these pieces out. There. This is a little mangled mess here, and then bring the chest section up like so, like that. It'll peg in and then you split the head, uh, windshield in half fold in these little tidbits there fold down the shoulder pieces fold out the hands uh, go to back here and these is kind of they don't really peg in anywhere I don't think they just kind of rest up against it so tires here and this is the biggest problem I have with this figure is the whole backpack just sucks especially with the way the smokestacks work you'll see the comparison later on for robot mode just see how it just does not work fold the arms around and there you have him in robot mode so here we have Optimus in robot mode and I guess we'll cover the articulation first he has a fairly loose uh, ball joint a neck so you can get some a little bit of up and down movement we get this light a little bit better um, <clears throat> that's a problem shoulder has a ball to shoulder but a lot of times I find even yeah right now it's not pegged in but even when it does, my the connection on mine is fairly loose. So whenever I just try to move the shoulders by themselves, I can see the pegs right there. I can feel them click in, but it just doesn't ever seem to really want to stay in there. So whenever I try to move the arms by themselves, I have to kind of put my thumb here, move them, kind of, kind of waste. No waste articulation at all, not even for a transformation. This one, I think it's no excuse. 
it was not reason there's no reason why they couldn't put in a waste swivel here i mean it wouldn't have affected the transformation at all just to cut it in half put in a joint and turn a little bit but yeah not there uh limited elbow a little bit of wrist bullet jointed hip with a swivel knee and if you want to get yeah a little ball jointed at the ankle his legs are fairly loose on mine <clears throat> yeah he always looks weird especially from this angle that I'm I'm looking at him at I always think that he's done doing something wrong here pardon that noise upstairs by the way um what next his weapons um he comes with the powerizer gimmick or he comes with his mech tech ish gun which this is supposed to be a gun right here but it doesn't resemble one you pull this back see a little red led light and becomes a more traditional looking gun there but it's supposed to peg into his forearm which is made out of the blue, same type of blue uh, plastic back off these lights a little bit and I know it's pegged in there I can see it before people say you're not pegging in the chest right I know I am is just not working at all you're supposed to hold it like this and yeah and I'm guessing it's supposed to light up the gun and his forearm but turn off the lights it's not really working all that well just the certain parts of it it'll work Another one of his lame weapons is he comes with uh, his sword, which to its advantage, I guess, it's not really that rubber type of plastic. It's more solid. But, I mean, I mean, it looks like his sword, kind of, but it's not at all accurate. Just the blade part looks about the right, but, I mean, he doesn't really hold his sword as a like that and more I mean more transformers out of his hand like this but completely like that more like the first edition so yeah that's those are the biggest reasons why I was considering getting the uh, the arms micron one just for the micron to have a more accurate weapon let's get this thing I'm gonna take this off camera real quick and I mean I've been I've been doing it right it's just the connections is not very strong so <clears throat> that's one huge huge disadvantage maybe I'm all copies of the figure I'm not sure yeah and this I hate how his backpack is angled <laughs> um I guess we'll take a look. Yeah, see, it's just coming right back out. Compare them with uh, the first edition version, and holy crap, there's a huge size difference. Um, you can see he's about. He's pretty much looking at Optimus, the first edition's chests. Like that. Uh, yeah, I love how the smokestacks are done on the first edition and how nicely and how well, how nice and clean the backpack is while the this one is all messy, it's just junky looking. Got the Autobot symbol placed on the same place. Um, I really prefer the way the chest looks on the first edition even though this does use the truck windows as the actual chest this one's just more accurate I mean especially when you look at the sun visor placement 
and just the head looks a lot better. The head on this one looks kind of odd. The head on this one looks very proportioned and more optimacy. And just overall, the first edition is more accurate and just beefier. And yeah. <sighs> Once again, in robot mode, I cannot think of a thing I like about this figure. I'm sorry, but for a while I was ex I, I was kind of understanding that even if this one, the first edition over here didn't exist, this would still be a good figure. <laughs> dance, dance, dance. Dance, dance, dance. But I'm sorry guys, but this is just a horrible figure. There's nothing fun about this to me. The weapons are lame. The transformation is cool and all because it's unique, but that's really the best part is just the few different steps in the transformation. But the vehicle mode looks like shit. The robot mode is just awkward to handle in every sense of the way. And just everything just doesn't seem to connect the way it should. The backpack is just... They didn't even attempt. They didn't even attempt to make a good figure out of this guy. Ugh, I'm, and I'm really, really glad I didn't get the Arms Micron one uh, to pay that extra 40 bucks, $60 total, for this equally bad of a figure just for the Arms Micron because... I would have been really disappointed and really pissed at myself if I would have done that. <clears throat> yeah, but it's sad to say that we all know that the Mr. First Edition Optimus here wasn't, was canceled in the U.S. And it did get a release in Canada, Philippines, and Japan, and some other random countries. And it kind of sucks that most people, well, not most, but a lot of people, especially kids, are going to pretty much have to settle for this one and not really know that the first edition even exists. Because the first edition is a superior figure all around. I don't even think this is a worthy substitute. And... I can fully understand why some people like this. I can get that. This is my opinion. I think this is just a junk figure. If this figure was the only Optimus Prime figure to have came out in the Transformers Prime uh, series, I've been really disappointed in this figure either way. <sighs> I'm sad. Very, very, very sad. Yeah, um, my opinion. If you really want a version of Optimus Prime from Transformers Prime, pay the extra money, s trade s one of your figures or some, go the extra mile to get the first edition version over there because. Even if you just look at the silhouette, he just looks, he pulls out that V look that, you know, he has real tiny waist, huge upper torso. It just, he just pulls off that look a lot better. Beefy arms. This one just does not really do it all that well. Well, like I was saying, if you really want a version of Optimus Prime, really try to get that one. Um, that, but that's my opinion. If you, if you really like this figure, all power to you. But my opinion, my honest opinion, would be to skip out this guy and somehow, or maybe if you're in Canada or one of the lucky countries that got the first edition, get him, be happy with him, because I think this figure is a piece of shit. 
And that's my honest thought on him. Yep, it sure is. Well, yeah, skip on this guy. Not worth it. No, no, no. Get the first edition, if at all possible, for the fifth time. Alright, until next time, thank you for watching.